Okay, it is 7 p.m. August 27th, 2018. The meeting is open. And uh, let's all uh, go around and say our names for the record, please. Sandra Simon. Rick Hodden. Art Edgerton. Bob Clark. Mark Satira. And Scott Globin is here, but uh, not present at the moment. And we will have him announce the when he arrives. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Okay, so the mail folder is going around. Uh, and also, um, Rachel has passed out um, reappointments uh, as special municipal employees. It's a, uh, that's an annual sign-off sheet for the State Ethics Commission, correct? So, um, if you uh, are comfortable with it, you can sign and date it and turn it in if you want to take it home and, and read it and bring it back. That's fine too. Scott, if you would just announce yourself for the record. Scott Lawton. Okay, thank you. <laughs> April, uh, excuse me, August 13th minutes, Rachel? I did not. Uh, they not they're not complete. Okay, they're so let's get that. All right, let's go. Um, the mail is circulated. Uh, let's go right to our discussions. We are. Um, Happy to announce that the, uh, the tree planting at Lottoms Ford is a closed issue uh, as far as uh, at least I am concerned. The, uh, <coughs> we planted three additional trees uh, for a total of nine. Uh, Bob, myself, and Art were um, Thursday night met with the North River Commission and uh, they were satisfied with the resolve. And just in short, you know, we kind of uh, agreed to communicate better going forward and. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think we'll do that. One of the um, one of the early quick fixes was we were going to share agendas. So I had mentioned to Rachel uh, that uh, they were going to be sending their agenda to us, and we were going to send their agenda, our agenda, to them, just so we're in tune to what each other's doing. And uh, we kind of left it at that. And I think uh, you know, I left there feeling like we had uh, you know a good resolve, and I, I believe that uh, you guys felt the same, unless you feel differently. Uh, I have a question just about sure. the installation. Is it? Something that seemed like it changed, but we got a, um, an outline of what it was going to cost and where we were going to buy the trees, and then it seemed like another company put them in and we bought them from somewhere else. Is that, is that what happened? We approved it. If I understand the question. We had, we had an estimate. We never gave it to any company. Okay. We had, it, we had an estimate that was given to us, and when we looked at it, we felt it could be done at a much a cheaper rate that the prices were exorbitant and we made some inquiries uh, some trees were bought by the um, bought by the, the town manager or town administrator made arrangements to buy the trees uh, we were able to make arrangements with a landscaper and with a contractor to work for nothing and it's pretty hard to get a a price less than nothing when yeah. you all you had to do was pay for the trees and when the three additional trees were, were asked for and planted the same group went and planted those three trees they also have been the landscaper has been doing the watering of the trees on a bi daily or whenever necessary type of thing and is uh, basically said he'll make sure those trees are going to grow so, it just seemed like we should have been involved with that. I may, maybe I missed a meeting or something, but the only company I heard that was going to install them was the one we got the estimate for. No, I mean, we, we got an estimate, but we had asked other people for our estimate. An estimate is. Right, but I mean, we, the board only saw one estimate. Huh? And we hired somebody else. It's I don't remember seeing any estimate for the like planting of the trees. I, I don't recall seeing that. We, we got, got, well, yeah. might, might, we might got one estimate. For the, for the yeah. That was the only estimate we got. And then we had people volunteer to do it, so yeah. there was no need to get any more estimates. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I think we can all agree with that. The only thing I would say is if you know, and again, the only plan I've seen is this right here. With, you know, it's an aerial with six X's on it. That's yeah. that's the plan that I'm aware of. But uh, you know, if there was another plan and somebody spent time, that was the original you know, plan I was shown. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody spent time, you know, another landscaper that might have drawn up an engineered plan or something, you know, I, I'd say that's a different story, and I don't think that happened. But it wasn't. Know, it was a Mark, can I ask where this envelope came from? 
Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I mean, a sole packet. Uh, actually, this came from the, actually, this was a North River Commission packet that Mr. Boulder had up mm -hmm. the because I wanted to actually go through it because I hadn't. Well, I was going to like, say, I haven't seen most of what's in there. I haven't yeah, seen this, all this, of this actually came from never North presented North here. That drawing I've never seen because the day of planting, we were trying to find someone who wanted to direct us as to where the trees were going or the date right. before, and no one would step up to the plate, and the best we could get was you start at the picnic table and, and look back the towards the, well, the corner of the wall and put them in in that line as there. I, as I stated in the last meeting, I actually, uh, Mr. Bolter and I met down there, and we, re we reviewed the, the first six that went in. Yeah, yeah and, that's and after they were in, right. They were yeah, after, that's after right. they were and, in. And All that's when this plan was produced, which was the first I had yeah. seen it. And, you know, my issue with this was legitimate, I believe. It, there wasn't any scale to it. It's mm. just an area with six X's on it. <coughs> and it's a, you know, it's not a real plan. So, you know, and and I think the other issue was whoever, you know, did the planting mm. didn't have anything to go off of, so they used their judgment. Yeah. And again, could we have done it better? Absolutely. And we have to learn for the next time. Definitely. Well, okay. That's what we um, That the board should have been kept in the loop uh, the whole process through. When I did the giant parsonage, I had a person working for free, and I brought it to the board. Everybody voted on it. Nobody was kept out of the loop. I felt that this was jumped ahead of the process of what the board is here to direct. And uh, somebody might have come forward and helped if they had information that it was going to be done at a certain time. And we had been all kept privy to this and uh, voted on it like we do anything else, whether it's volunteer or not. I think people that start volunteering and doing stuff out of the loop and you, know, you don't know what you're going to end up with. Kind of like the back door way this whole thing came to be. Instead of one board talking to the other board, interrupting the job that had been done the same way for 30 years, you had somebody had to get their nose bent out of shape, and it all came to backdoor another department in this town. No, it's not bent out of shape. The animals and the birds that live in those trees. You don't care about those. You're just the tree warden. I'm not the tree warden. Oh, you're not. Okay, what is this? Then? I'm not the tree warden. Well, you need to find your facts, Arthur, before right. you say something. Let's, 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 but this, 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 this is case. nothing surprise. If, if all boards had worked together, this could have been worked out. But no, everybody has their own little agenda. And the people that work here every day were trying to do something nice for a park, and we basically got our toes stepped on because we did the same job we've been doing for 32 years under the former tree warden. You don't cut trees down every Yes, time. we do. Really? Every year that that was cut, those were cut. Okay, so it wasn't the only other that. ones were the dead ones. So let's let's do this. So we're going to table. Can we move this? forward to what I was talking about? Well, let's, let's say this. You know, again, I think in hindsight, if we look back at this whole thing from soup to nuts, there was a lot of things that could have been done differently and better. And rehashing what happened a year ago isn't going to get us anywhere. It's about what we're going to do tomorrow, the next time this stuff comes about. I think we we made some internal strides here as a board, I think with the other uh, boards within the town and also with the North River Commission. And we, you know, let's start forward with a working arrangement where we're all communicating better. And what happened yesterday, you know, it's just a waste of time. It really is. Well, so In the future, I would like to see um, things move forward in the same fashion that I was addressed through the process of the proper process of going forward with the board. I had a person want to do a spectacular job on something that's still the danger of the public every time we go by in the environment. Um, if I had just gone, hey, we got a guy here to do this, let's go do it, I don't think that would have been appropriate. I think what I did was appropriate. I went through the board, it got voted down. You could have voted down, but the whole board was involved in the other vote. And that's really what we're supposed to do. You know, I kind of disagree. We, we have a lot of properties in town that are being worked on continuously, and the uh, people that are doing the work, outside contractors and all, are doing the work for nothing, and we aren't coming before the board every time. And if they have to come before the board every time they're donating their services, then they're not going to bother with it. I mean, it's a community type of organ thing, and they're doing uh, 
the land, they're doing the landscaping, the tree trimming, the path opening, and all of these things for for us. So and, just going through it and if we time. want to micro manage it, then that's fine. Then someone else can be micro managing, and, and there's nobody that around that's going to do the work. It was just going to be aware of things. I think there's a there's a difference between micromanaging it and being advised, right? So we should all know what's going on. I don't disagree with that. I also see there's a little bit of apples and oranges with, you know, planting trees versus removing the, um, you know, invasive species, right? With chemicals, I think, that, you know, it's hard to compare those two, but I see your point. And I think, you know, again, I think moving forward, right, we should all be aware and, of what's going on. And if, if something needs to be voted on, we vote on it. I'm sure there's things that, you know, have been going on for years that, you know, again, you know, are we going to rewrite write history? I don't think so. But, but, you know, but again, I think going forward, obviously, there's a lot of things that happen in this particular instance between, uh, you know, several boards in town, the North River Commission, a lot of toes get stepped on, and, you know, we just live and learn and, and move forward. So I, I think when a new board comes in, it's important as a North River Commission, they are already second to the Green Police in the state for, you know, overseeing powers. Um, I think you have to address them, you have to work with them. Whether you like them or not, they're there. They're there for a reason, and they're part of the system. So like you said, we need to work more seamlessly with, say, a new, say another board's, you know, created, another commission is created with state powers. You just gotta be abreast of it and work with them, you know? And, and we, we absolutely made a commitment to do that, going forward with them, and, and again, I think, you know, uh, I would be hard pressed to find anybody on that leaving that meeting on Thursday thinking any different. That's good. You know, and, and, you know you guys I'd like to say, Mark, that there. I've been on the board for a long time and I have never had a problem with the North River Commission until this one incident. And that is the only incident that we have had any problem with on any of the things from the time developments, everything else up and down the river. It's been very easy to work with phone calls and everything else. I think yeah. they're a great asset yeah. to have on our side. Yeah, it was different times. And I know? would say it was certainly a collegial meeting. Uh, yeah. There wasn't any uh, you know, malice or you know or bad blood there. It was it was just a good meeting and again, we're moving on. So the time is close to seventeen. Yeah, so um, before we move, get to our first hearing, I just uh, want to say that uh, Sharon McNamara has officially uh, tendered her resignation to the board. The selectmen have accepted it. So we have an official vacancy on the board. We are posting it on the town website, uh, the, uh, the conservation website. Um, you know, we just want to see what we get for applicants. So we're going to, you know, hopefully have like a, a two or three process where we'll be fielding applications and then we'll be reviewing them. We don't appoint, we certainly, you know, review and recommend the selectmen appoint. But, uh, but Sharon is officially done. We thank her for her time and service. And uh, you know we'll be moving on with another another member, um, you know, within the, you know a month or two. Anybody um, have anything to add? I'll make a motion to send a letter of gratitude to Sharon McNair for her service. I'll second it. Okay, a, let, a motion has been made and seconded to send a letter for Sharon, thanking her for her service. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Um, we uh, have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five votes to the affirmative and one abstention. And uh, Rick is the abstention. Okay, any other discussion on the vacancy? Um, I don't want to go back to this. Have we ever done a advertising campaign for any commissioner on this board as we sit today? Yes, this is, this is the, yeah, this is really the first vacancy I've been involved in, but I just, uh, you know, in my opinion, uh, it's fair to advertise, and, oh, I, I agree. and you know anybody that might be interested. Uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a it's a fair process, and, I agree. and certainly nothing against anybody, you know, that uh, you know might be interested, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's just a fair process to 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 make sure that everybody knows, and we field all the applicants that that come about, and then we you know again, we recommend uh, the best person, and again the selectmen appoint. We don't appoint anybody, but, uh, but yeah, it's just I think it's a fair process. Uh, stand behind. I just want to touch, we, we left off the wooden bench part of the bottom sport. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's 710, yes. Well, it, really all it is is 
they need to be vanished. And so it's a project for somebody who wants to do it. So all the wood needs to be coated or it's going to just go down here. All right, let's get to our hearing. Uh, 710, Notice of Intent, 253 Taylor Street, excuse me, Street, Mass DVP file, SE 056-1019. Yeah, Hi. Hello. Please uh, state your name for the record. My name is Jen Dalmore. I'm with Outback Engineering. I'm a wetland scientist over there. I'm representing Ethan and Laura tonight. Um, so what we have here is just an extension of a driveway to the existing driveway. It's right here. And they're just going to extend it down this uh, orange line is the 100 foot buffer to the wetland. The wetland's in green. Silt fence erosion control is in the pink. And we have the new driveway going down to the proposed garage and a little mudroom. Um, and then we have a retaining wall here to help with the grading. Where's the current driveway? The current driveway is this section here, right there. And then this different hatches in. between the 50 and the 100. The closest point the garage will be to the wetland is about 53 feet away. And we had it there because of the building setback from the property line, so we couldn't have the garage any further away from the wetland. Require zoning approval, or has it had a zoning? You know, I checked in with the project manager on Friday, and he was either in the process still, or actually, I think he said he was waiting on approval from this commission before he was going to submit. If we do approval, we want to, uh, conditions that it's approved by right. zoning now. Yeah. <coughs> so have you have you flagged the area, or are you are you just presenting the plan? So you, you yeah, I did the wetland flagging you myself. Did. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm the homeowner, homeowner if I can answer any questions. Yeah, there's a existing trailer over here. Yeah, that's the one that's in the middle. It's just a small uh, 10 by 10 shed that's um, maybe trees coming down. Only yes, it's five, it says five trees coming down. I think if we have five trees coming down, it's time to start implementing what we've been wanting to do. That Every tree that over two, over three inches is taken down. Either three smaller trees must be planted on the site, or ten dollars per tree placed into the tree account for planting of trees other places in town. Gotcha. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on site or. The trees to be replanted, I mean, new trees to be planted on site, though. I don't know if we'd have to oh, make that a condition of where they're going to I think it's accumulative. Anywhere on the property? Yeah, so uh, what are we looking at, like 10 or 12 trees that you're taking down? Basically. Yeah. There's there's one that might be 10 or 12 inches in diameter, and all the rest are smaller to, in the three to five inch range. Three, two, seven. Three, two, seven. Yeah. Basically, they're where the uh, the driveway extension is going to be, or the big one we want to take down is a risk to the new where the new garage is going to be if the tree were to fall. Or again, actually, any combination. In other words, if you've had that many, you can. Plant some and, I, I, and put we, some. We, will, we want to plant more trees further to the 
south on the property, so uh, we probably would do that, but if it could be a combination of the two, we'd be happy with that. More than happy to put some money into the, what, what's the tree account you're referring to? Yeah, okay, this is, a no, again, a, so it's a notice of intent, you're going to have to come back for a certificate of compliance at some time, and yeah. at that time is when we'll, we want to make sure that you either plan it or whatever. Does it matter if the trees are inside the 100 foot buffer or outside? She, she's asking if it matters if the trees are within or within the hundred foot buffer or not. Doesn't matter where it is on the lot. Okay, gives you some freedom. Sure. <laughs> Was that a policy that you guys had discussed as We've starting been discussing to? Discussing it, yes. And it's a, sounds like a great idea to me. We just so you know, we have a fund we we'll call our tree fund, so that uh, if the common if a tree is needed in the common or other places in town. We planted some trees in the uh, one of the bogs some earlier this year. It's just it's there for us to put trees around town. Sure. Gotcha. So that would be a special condition that right, yeah. the num exact number of trees that come down. Okay. What's the height of that retaining wall? Let's see, we've got a top of 98.5 and a bottom of 94.5. And what's on the what's on the other side of that board? Is that uh, you know obviously it's something else is land? But yeah, this is the, that's just the existing tree line over there, and it, I mean it's their property line. So I just saw trees and I didn't go into onto the other property when I was there. But it, it was just looked like a strip of woods between okay. Ethan's lot and the other lot. And the purpose of retaining it today when it hasn't been retained is. Because the driveway is going in, it's just to secure the grading. So I thought the driveway was in up until that. The, the current now. edge of the driveway is right here. Yeah. So we're going to be going all the way over here. Okay. Okay. And it, the retaining wall is going to be there just to secure the grading. Gotcha. Okay. I think there's a note there that you're seeing silt fence on yes. the plan. Yes. Yeah, we here. do not recognize silt fence. Either silt sock or stake hay bales. Okay. Could we make that a condition as well? We can put it on as a condition as well. Okay. Which is on the upland side of the trail of the trees. So yeah. that 12 inch silt sock is typically what? 12 inch silt sock? Is, yeah. um, do you have to chip hay bales also or just the silt sock? Just silt sock. Just silt sock. E either or a lot. Yeah. Anybody have any additional questions? The motion is there. Close the hearing. Move and close. A second to the motion. The motion has been made and seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. 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 The move we build in accordance with the plan will be added. Conditions that have been discussed in plus our normal boilerplate. Conditions. That's good. I'll second that. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to, uh, to um, approve the notice of intent uh, with the uh, additional uh, stipulations that have been made along with the normal boiler uh, plate for the negative three. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Please note that any person agreed by this decision has the right of appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. So you are all set. Thank you. Uh, is Mr. Lunk, nice nice Mr. Lunk, we're still working. Yes. <laughs> all of the emphasis are still there. Tell them all the class in the We, we all go all way, time. way, way back and down here. Yeah, I'll let him know you said hi. Yeah, he's doing good. When he was, he and James were there. They, they did. They, they're not he's still there too. Yeah. Yep. Jim Pavlik. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, okay. thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Our next hearing is a uh, continuation of notice of intent for 23 Bristol Road, Kelly, DEP file, SE 056-1018. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, yes. Kelly from Dallin Realty. Um, so we got our file numbers. That's good. Yes, we have DEP numbers. Yes. Yep. Uh, we also put together, I sent a copy to Rachel, but I sent it to her just recently, but a copy of the letter. Um, this is a disclosure 
um, that we're going to give to each of the buyers, and we are, we are forming a similar deed rider. Um, it refers to the stormwater management plan that is part of the notice of intent for the whole subdivision that the Conservation Commission should have a copy of here. Um, we are simplifying the stormwater management details that affect the rain garden specifically to be put on the deed rider. That way it's very clear. You know, these are the inspections that you have to take. Uh, just, just so that way people don't have to say, oh, well, I couldn't find it. And I didn't know how. And I'm not going to call the town just to figure out how many inspections and things like that. Um, but what this document does is it refers to both the notice of intent uh, and the specific stormwater uh, management plan for the subdivision. And so this is for our buyers going into everything. And we'll have a deed rider that will be attached that will you know, stay with the deed going forward. That will say, hey, you have to subscri uh, ascribe to the stormwater management plan. That's on file with the town. And then here are the details that are relevant you know, to you as of the state. Not to change subjects. Is, is the wetland line got the wooden blocks in this project or not? No, the is, it, is the wetland blocks? line been the this one? Yeah, so this one has like a heavy duty um, silt sock in there. I'll have to go check what stakes that they use. Yeah. But I know that they we had a, a company go out and put a specific. Uh, I, I didn't know whether we had asked for it on the land no, for the wetland line to be. Oh, oh the little signs. Yeah. yeah. No, I, oh, I don't good. think I don't think so, but we can. Can I see that? Yeah, thank you. Right, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it in, in the lot, say, so just so the people down the road can kick it sometime. Oh, there's that old wooden stake. <laughs> the little signs yeah. are saying, you yeah. know, no trust by the herb or yeah. wetlands. No one quote from the pond. Yeah. 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 So they can't feign. They can't feign ignorance. That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. I thought it was stabilized at this point, but this isn't coupled with this. this is no, this is this is right. downwind real. Yeah, this <coughs> is on Taylor Street, Bristol Estates. So the whole company? No. Oh well, technically yes, okay. but yes, but no. Yes, but no. <laughs> yeah. Forty uh, B's need to be their own company. Tax and profit and loss. Is there other folders on these, uh, Rachel? Sorry, I don't. Uh, um, how many years? It's the same. Time? Yeah, it's the same. You guys, you really didn't even need to be here tonight. I, I came for the letter to yeah. vote. Yeah. So it was just—it yeah. was really just pending. Right. You, you guys were ready to vote. Actually, it was pending the. the yeah, yeah, right. 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 And then essentially a format. You open them off. Thank you. That's the one there that you have. That one is 34. Yep. This is 24. The one you have there has the rain garden, which 
which this language here applies to. Yep. This one, the rain guide language applies to 34. Correct. Which is the next one, yeah. So we need to close out this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 20, 23 so this is 23 open? is open right now. It, it, we, we haven't voted on it yet. Yeah. So yeah. I move we close. Okay. I mean, yeah, 23. Okay, a motion has been made to close the hearing on 23 Bristol. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carried mm -hmm. unanimously. Move we go according to plan and we added uh, uh, the boilerplate and he added uh, part of the boilerplate about your signage. What one? So, the top of 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 the the NOI uh, with the additional language for the markers and including uh, Exhibit A and the ship we need to. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's that one's that's only for the house. Oh, that's cars. only for the yeah. next one. Sorry, I'm sorry. So, uh, I'll, so let's strike strike right, Exhibit A. Good, Rachel. Can't see what uh, we're looking at. Uh, disclosure statement. Our disclosure statement mm -hmm. is a part of our oil plate on all these articles. Yes. We have a disclosure statement that says that people know that there's wetlands on the property, that's all. Yeah. Not, not as fancy as all, all of this, it just you know, lets them know that there are wetlands on the property that they should be aware of. Okay. So let me just clarify that. So a motion has been made and seconded to approve this notice of intent um, with the uh, added uh, wetlands markers to be, to be uh, added in. All those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Moving on to notice of intent to continuation for 34 Bristol Road Kelly DEP file number SC056 1020. And that's the, the second one we got to Which exhibit A does apply to? Yes. So the easement on this property um, was recorded with the subdivision plan. So it's already on record. Uh, Where's the easement on this map? It's this space here, and it's connected to the main easement which the town has access to for the drainage system. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been recorded already. Um, so I don't know if the town wants to, it would make sense to require a copy of this Exhibit A, you know, prior to ticket certificate of occupancy. Um, as well as a deed rider um, detailing the maintenance of. If yeah. it isn't, if it isn't going to cost you a uh, summer vacation or something. <laughs> no. Did you get that, Rachel? <coughs> can, you, can you repeat about? Who oh, will say it? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so I, if it makes sense in the board, I'd submit that um, that one of the conditions for the notice of intent be that an exhibit an exhibit A is shown, a, a, Rachel has a copy, um, you know, would be provided to the board, signed, um, and then a deed rider will be um, drafted as part of the... Uh, where, where are we at? We, uh, we have not closed. Okay, we were close. Okay, a motion has been made to and seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Move to go carries. according to plan with the same stipulations as the last lot we had, plus what Owen just said. So, but with with uh, conditions with exhibit A and the D rider, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. All right. So can you just uh, make that motion so 
it's clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the G rider as, as he was just... Oh, yeah. So a motion has been made to uh, accept 34 Bristol in notice of intent uh, with conditions um, with Exhibit A and the B rider that will, that will follow this property line. Right, correct. And our normal and our normal oil plate. Okay. Second that. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. <laughs> Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. Thank you. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. We are closed. Um, is there a uh, time when we get this back next meeting or before? Or?